Greetings, Scratcher here, and this is another Raid Shadow Legends free to play challenge for 2024. Okay, so today we'll have a few things to talk about. Um, for sure, we'll be pulling those uh, souls, uh, the formal champs, but before that, let's quickly take a look uh, where we are. So, day 82, so we got about one week uh, till the end of the uh, competition. And at the beginning, I would like to say a big thank you to all other competitors for taking part in this uh, tournament challenge, generally, especially Col Colred and Big Papa Drog. Uh, those two guys are pushing pretty hard, so this competition is, is getting more in and more interesting till the end. But others also have potential to uh, reach uh, good points uh, in this competition. Okay, uh, so let's start with some kind of review. Uh, so, as I mentioned, day 82. So, I'd like to show how many six stars I made. So, 15. So, it looks like it will be like five, uh, one six star with masteries on uh, five or six days, something like that. So, average is more or less okay. So, who do I have and uh, how I'm building them? Um, so Ratalos, uh, damage dealer with good uh, slayer or old Ratalos set to give even more damage. Um, next uh, Armans, so this one from uh, is from the fusion, pretty high speed, almost uh, 280, and a lot of accuracy. That's what's needed uh, for him. Uh, Arbiter, this is one uh, from the missions. Yeah, uh, pretty uh, tanky and beefy one. Uh, Ancora, another champ from uh, Fusion. Um, I rebuild this one, so still need some work to do with uh, artifacts here. Uh, and I decided to put a little bit more resistance uh, because she's cleanser and reviver and she's stun or something or provokes, so she's not able to do anything. So yeah, give her more resistance. That's the, that's the solution. Uh, so Mordecai, so Mordecai is working very well with Ratalos, so he's enabling his passive, so the perfect duo. Um, Toragi the Frog, uh, clan boss, uh, boss, uh, god I would say, uh, yeah, so he's very good at that, so I also regeared him during this uh, free gear removal event which is currently ongoing, uh, so he, he's getting a little bit more HP, that's what he needs. Um, yeah, my recent uh, six star. So this is uh, Swain, Sway. So, sorry, Sway. Yeah, I think that's the correct name. Uh, why I built her? Because she's void. That's the first stuff. Uh, so no weak hits, and uh, her A2. So decrease attack on all enemies on one one hundred percent on a free turn cooldown. So generally that what convinced me, and I do not have anything else other champ that, that will do the same so that's why i decided to build her yeah so accuracy some speed and survivability next one is kramis uh, so this is hydra champ with provoke set another ugo um yeah so uh, with hack uh, hex set no cursed cursed set uh, to bring some hexes on on the hydra heads then uh, Deacon Armstrong, that was my starter champ, a uh, starter, a uh, starter epic, right? That's not uh, Mord Mordecai I got from the shard uh, very early, uh, so uh, Deacon was my um, first epic. Then Bellower, my campaign farmer, yeah. Uh, Coffin Smasher, so he and Atol, that's my two champs for clan boss at this moment and also for fire knight because of the a2 with three hitters so that's what i need uh yeah then a very special six star so army uh, this is a very special build for army Gear, so i'm building him with a destroy set uh, which will destroy an m max hp so he is my uh, answer to uh, scarab king uh, in doom tower that's how I'm dealing with uh, this boss, because I do not have good poisoners. 
but recently I've got uh, one, so that's uh, after that I built uh, Urogrim, a very good uh, poisoner, a lot of poison utilities, so build him tanky with accuracy should be good enough. Yeah, so I prepared uh, some stuff already, for, uh, artifacts for them, I need to upgrade them and he will be ready to go. Okay, so beside the six stars I also pulled uh, few other champs that are worth uh, considering to build. So for sure that will be, let me maybe change this view to epics, because we are talking about epics, not legendaries. Um, yeah, so we have here another Ugo. So, but that, this is for future for another Hydra team. We got uh, Old Hermit Jork, very good champ in my opinion. Um, who else? For Fire Knight, uh, Knight uh, Vuzgar will be uh, a good one. And I cannot find one more. And this will be... where is it? Here's... Akemtum. Yeah, so another Void uh, cha Epic champ. Mm. Uh, which is generally a very good poisoner, so this is potentially another uh, 6 star on this account. But I'm not sure if I will have enough time to uh, build them, yeah, got like one week only. Okay, so now let's jump to the uh, Altar of Souls and let's pull some um, Soul Stones. So on my wish list, yeah, so that's my... Um, Candidates, so Arbiter because she's currently one star, also Ankora, Brogni, uh, so he will be my uh, clan boss champ after the f uh, challenge will finish. Then we got uh, Skramis and Ugo for Hydra, uh, Urogrim, yeah, because she, he's new, and uh, some uh, rares. Yeah, so that that's what I have, so let's take a look uh, what game will bring to, uh, to me today. So let's pull some soul stones. Not many, but the event is on, so we'll be getting some points. So it will be good to at least get 150 points. Um, yeah, we got six <laughs> here. So 150 will give me more energy, more gems, so in total more energy. Madame Series one star. I don't have her so far. Another blue. Gun. Not useful so far. What else? Sentinel. No thanks. What else? Solaris. Yeah. <laughs> Another blue. Well, okay, I think got Epic. Who is that? Kalinia. Kalinia. No, thank you. What else? And another blue. Fallen. Yeah, potentially that, that this could be a good champ here. Let's collect those uh, coins and now to Immortal Souls. So, we should have a chance to get something better, maybe. Okay, blue. Okay, uh, Apothecary from the wish list. Very good. That's a good one. At least something. What else? Okay, Kisgard. I don't have him, but three star. Yeah, three star giving you some defense, which is good. Okay, and the final one, so Eternal Soul Stone. Let's see what we will have here. Epic and. Oh, Ostrox. Uh, void. That's unlucky, that's nothing from my wish list. Yeah, so I cannot use it because I don't have this champ. Okay, so let's take a look how many points uh, I was able to get on this tournament. Because I think that's tournament. Yeah, Soul Chase tournament. Yes, very good. So I think I've got 150 points at least. Because I see two rewards here. It's not... Uh, updated yet, but yeah, rewards are, are already available. Okay, that's great. Okay, and at the end of this um, episode, uh, so I'm preparing for a dungeon push. So here 
let's take a look uh, to the um, ice golem let's try to uh, deal with ice golem here so stage 23 this is um, force so force means that uh, our uh, crowd control for the wave um, armands will be weak affinity it will be tough one so we'll see <laughs> Okay, so we need a little bit more speed. So Queen Ancora, she's also weak affinity. That's not also not good. Okay, so we need to bring decrease attack. So that's Swain. What else? Let me think. Um, I'm thinking about Army Girl. He's slow, but uh, with his maximum HP and uh, the block revive, he could potentially be useful. And who else? Let's try maybe Urogrim. Uh, some more poisons. Hmm, interesting. So, okay, let's try. So now when you have a little bit bigger roster, you can try different setups. Okay, so yeah, our Armands is not working on the force mm, waves. Maybe I see one stun only. So that's not a lot. Maybe that will be. This will be a fail. We'll see. Okay, got fewer stuns, so sometimes it's it's landing. So this will be, a, I think, a little bit slower run because I'm not bringing here Ratalos, which can uh, very fast uh, clear the waves. But then it will will have a big in big danger. Um, in final fight with the boss because of his big hits which can put a lot of um, trouble in the team okay so urogrim is not booked at all so his poisons uh, i mean his a3 will be a little bit uh, yeah delayed okay so far it's working fine so let me pause here and back to the final uh, boss wave Okay, so we are in the final wave with the boss, so five minutes already in the game, so let's try, so at the beginning maybe manual, so some stuns, yeah, anything here, and let's try, okay, Orogreen poisons are on cooldown, the most important A2. Okay, resisted, so I do not have even a good enough uh, accuracy to land it on the boss. Yes, yeah, so that will be a problem. So, let's see. This probably will take a little bit, so uh, anyway, I will pause and back uh, in a second. But let's maybe watch what's going on. I think the most important thing will be here to army girl to kill with his A2 um, adds, oh, that was a big hit, that's what we are expecting from this boss. Once again resisted, so probably we are getting un unlucky a little. Okay, so we're getting close, so maybe, oh, that was too big hit. It's not good. Yeah, mistakes. Anyway, <laughs> let's put some shields. At least we got reviver here, so uh, Queen will bring bring them back. Okay, so maybe now let's put some um, poisons here and there. So probably that will be the solution for this fight maybe some shielding again again so queen already took f five runs <laughs> interesting okay um yes yeah, so we'll keep the ads about two meter and now let's try again decrease attack yes we got decrease attack yeah so let me pause and let's continue Okay, so I managed to kill one of the adds with Armiger A2. 
So let's see if uh, Ice Golem will revive him or not. Yeah, revive blocked. So that's so. Uh, what is the main strategy here? Try to kill uh, us with uh, Armiger A2, then Ice Golem will not will not be able to revive and uh, have this uh, damage boost. That's the plan. Okay, so let me pause and back later. Okay, so second ad is also uh, killed by Armiger A2 and Ice Golem is not able to revive also second, so this should be now clear run. It's taking up 10 minutes already. Yeah, got a lot of poison, poisons, smite also. So now it should be much faster. Yeah, looks good. So generally that's my strategy here. Just slowly but shortly. Slow, slowly and um, yeah, to have 100% uh, confident that this will work. So poisons, kill the ads with block revive and we are done. Okay, so let me uh, continue the same team on stage 24 and I will be back on the boss fight again. Okay, we are on the boss wave, five minutes in the fight. Uh, so this time uh, Ice Golem is Spirit Affinity, so green one. So let's continue. So we got Smite, we got Stuns already on minions. So generally Ar Armand is MVP of this fight. I'm not saying he's broken, uh, breaking the game, but he's um, providing ability to just deliver the chance that you want to deal with the boss easier. Don't have like crazy legendaries to do that. Okay, that was a big hit. Got decreased attacks, so that's good. Okay, so let me pause and focus and try to kill the adds with uh, Armiger A2. Okay, so we're getting close. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to kill the ads properly but so far we are alive there is a lot of poison on the boss so he should die very quickly I hope yeah okay so stage 24 is done so let me continue with this team setup and try with stage 25 so I will be back on this boss stage so this time we have um, magic affinity yeah, so this will take some time. Okay, so once again we are on the boss stage, so maybe this time let me try something different. So let's ship one of the minions and see how this will work. I hope Armand should have enough time to put stun, or maybe not. <laughs> let's see. Okay, it's working fine, so after the ship, so Mio will have like half of the HP, so it will be easier to kill him. Maybe that's also a good solution to deal faster with uh, the minions. Okay, so let me pause and we'll be back later. Okay, <clears throat> so we are getting close. So, remember, oh, he was smack once and killed uh, most of my team, but fortunately Queen is pretty tanky. You know, she was able to uh, stay alive. Yes, I managed to kill uh, one Ad with Army Girl, A2. So let's see now what will happen at the end. It should be pretty easy, is what I see. I got two poisons and smite be good. Sometimes I need to uh, stop Armas using his A2 to just 
give a boss a turn to take those poisons. It's, it's crazy what <laughs> he's doing. Okay, more poisons should be enough, so let's now focus on the minion. And this should be enough. Yeah, and it is. Okay, so stage 25 is cleared. So pretty good progress. Um, yeah, uh, so heart is unlocked. So yeah, let me try with heart and see what we can do there in the same te team setup. Yeah, so let me pause and back on the boss wave. Okay, so we reached uh, the um, boss stage. So that's Ice Golem heart. So he, he looks a little bit different. So let's see how this will work. So let's try ship one of um, those guys. Try put some poisons maybe. Okay. I think he's immune to poisons at some point. Let me check. Immune to poison. Okay. Okay. So that's the problem. Okay. So we'll not be able to do anything with poisons here. I forgot about that. Okay. But let's see what will happen. Let me continue and we'll be back later. Okay, so big achievement. I managed to kill both ads with Armiger A2. So now let's see what will happen. So only what we have is smite from uh, Arvans. Yeah, so probably this will take a little bit time, but we got decreased attack. So we'll be slowly dealing with boss but probably I will need to allow him to make a turn so avoid using uh, Armas A2 yeah I mean, that's that's the case okay that was a lot of damage so yeah probably that will be the solution try to Make him a move. Okay, that was a big hit. Okay, so no revive, no huge damage. Yeah, well, I think we are fine. So let's try another big hit. Okay, and okay, looks looks much. Um, I would say interesting. <laughs> um, okay, but so far Queen is alive, so I think we are. Okay, so some healing. Okay, so th I think this should work. I'll let me pause and do more a little bit more damage to the bus. Okay, so decreased meter is working pretty good. So yeah, we got Freeman down, but Queen is alive, so that's what we need. Even if Ice Golem will take a turn, so Smite should kill him. Yeah, so that will be the solution. So Armas, even here is even more important than the other fights. So I can remove um, Urugrim because he's not uh, giving a lot. Yeah, but so far good enough. Okay, so I think that will be enough for this episode. Probably I will push a little bit more, and yeah, we'll let you know about my results later so generally ice golem peak on stage heart is cleared yeah so a few more to go okay if you like it uh, if you want to see what's go will, will be happening in the rest of the week so stay tuned and see you in the next one cheers <laughs>